advent of Thatchwood Close now taking its place, it is perhaps hard to imagine that Reading's garage and petrol station was ever there, let alone the ominous presence which it harboured. Prior to being demolished in May 2013, Riddings Garage and Petrol Station was known to be haunted. What appeared to be a rather humble establishment on the outside was quite different on the inside, as it appeared to harbour an ominous and aggressive spirit. Although most members of staff had experienced the presence, they were never able to establish what was the cause of the paranormal activity. Staff often complained of regular and unpleasant paranormal activity. Staff in the shop often complained of being aware of an unpredictable presence. It was not unusual for staff members to be aggressively pushed past by an unseen force, which was said to freak them out, because they could not see anything there. Over time, Staff got used to this in addition to other paranormal activity in the shop, which they often came to attribute to Mr Hicken, whoever he was. Despite best efforts at the time, I was unable to locate any past members of staff from Riddings Garage and Petrol Station to share their paranormal experiences with me. Hence, if you were a member of staff who would like to share your paranormal experiences, please get in touch. I was, however, fortunate enough to be able to interview a former mechanic who worked at Riddings Garage and who was able to shed considerable light on paranormal activity in the garage area. To begin with, he was quick to tell me that although no apparitions were ever seen, as far as he knew, there was a definite ominous presence there. A whole catalogue of strange things went on, suggesting that they were never alone. There was always something happening in the office and the workshop. Whilst working in the garage, lights would frequently go on and off, for no reason, which was frustrating because it stopped the progress of work. It was also common for things to disappear, then turn up where they shouldn't be which was frustrating for the mechanics as again it stopped progress of work. It was as if the spirit was purposely trying to make things difficult for them rather than playing a game. The most unnerving thing was that they always felt as if someone was there and as if they were being watched. Although no one ever saw any apparitions as far as I'm aware, staff were in no doubt that the garage and shop were haunted. Staff who worked there firmly believed that their resident ghost may once have lived at Riddings House and may not have been best pleased by what replaced their once beautiful home. Riddings House was built in the 1870s by Boaz Bloomer, the owner of Pelsall Coal and Iron Company. In 1900, Riddings House was purchased by Mr John Starkey, a well-known businessman. John Starkey lived in the house with his wife Sarah Jane and his mother and father-in-law William and Mary Barnett. Anne Bentley, a 19-year-old servant girl, also lived and worked at the house. By the 1950s, the Riddings was occupied by the Hare family, who had their own coachman and kept foxhounds, which were used for frequent hunts. Later on, part of the grounds nearest to Wood Lane were used to play tennis. These grounds were enclosed by a high rock wall which contained about eight courts. In 1975, Riddings House was demolished to make way for Riddings Garage and Petrol Station. Some of the materials were used to build a bungalow which was built behind the original house and then a petrol station was built in front of it facing the main road. Shortly afterwards, however, the property was demolished as the petrol pumps were not allowed to be so close to it. Hence, at this point, any trace of Riddings House was gone. It could be said that a previous occupant was upset to see the demolition of their former home and was not impressed by its replacement. 
Hence, whoever, or whatever it was, made sure their presence was felt. I'm not sure where Mr Hicken fits into all of this. However, if you know, or you would like to share your paranormal experiences at Riddings Petrol Station and Garage, please get in touch. Today, new properties occupy the area where Riddings Garage and Petrol Station once stood. I do wonder whether anyone who lives there has also experienced the ominous presence.